Hello guys, welcome back to the Paper Whisper. Today, I'll be showing you how to make an origami crab. I know it's been a while, and I feel terrible about it. Yeah, at the same time, I had a lot going on. I had my bar mitzvah turned a teenager, and just a lot has happened. I started 8th grade, and I had a lot of homework, so. Gotta, you know, hear me out here. But, um, I'm going to make more tutorials more often, so let's get right into it. So, we're going to start by folding in half, edge to edge, then unfold, then fold one at that bottom edge to the middle, then fold this edge to where you just folded the bottom edge to, then fold do it once more. This will create sixteenths on one side, if you did the math. Then, rotate 90 degrees. Fold in half. Unfold. And repeat. Unfold completely. Rotate 90 degrees. In the same direction you just did. And now you don't have to fold in half, you can just go to the straights and it'll be, you can only fold in half like twice, I think, for us there. Hopefully, not something that's some, something else, but you get the point. Okay, cool. Sorry. Raise 9 degrees and do it once more. Now this... As some people call it low energy year, I call it simple model because I have different ratings, but, um, this is a decently simple model, but not completely complicated. It's pretty, com it's a complex model, but not super complicated. It's not exactly easy either. So, if you have origami experience of two years or more and you know how to do some simple box pleating, you should be fine. I could be wrong. Anyways, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a pencil and show you the creases we're going to make. Yes, it's a bit of a crease pattern. It's model has a crease pattern that we're going to follow for it, for it to work. So, we're going to create a crease from this corner all the way to this corner. And on in the other on the other side, too. In the other direction, you know what I mean? Hopefully. And then, we're also going to make a crease on every corner to fold every corner. We're also going to fold every corner to the middle. Thank you for letting me talk. Thank you for me, if I can talk. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, and then we're going to repeat on all the other corners. That makes sense. Hopefully I didn't misspeak again. Okay. And then we're going to do the other two. It's going to have to be a perfect line. I'm just going to show you the basic fold for that basic idea. And then, this looks terrible, but I'll try my best to correct this. Sorry about that. And then, let me change this. Oh boy, this is looking terrible, but I'm trying my best, you guys. Trying my best. Okay, anyways, now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a kind of like a, a pleat sink on each, on all four corners. It's going to look like this, kind of. I'm going to repeat that on all four corners. Feel free to draw the rest of it if you want to. I'm just going to show you the basics. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this here. I'm going to go a little bit faster. If you don't either read your crease pattern without non fold die folds, then you're out of luck. Sorry. Okay. And if, if you would like to see the crease pattern, I've, um, I'll try to make one sometime, okay? At least for what, the class. And then... We're going to um, fold this to the middle. Therefore, kind of go pleat. If you do our pleat thing, we'll get and we go on all four corners. This is what will look like on one corner. Once I can do it correctly. Oh, that's not good. It ripped. Okay, one second. Sorry. i to fix that. Okay, and we're going to repeat on the others. Just, it's very important that you want to make a color model that you want to use the color. You want to be colored side up. So make a white side up model, you're going to make a white side up. 
color say not color color soda you know what I mean I'm sorry You'll have the first three flaps. See, it's pretty simple way to get a pretty cool flax. Okay. Then, you're going to keep going. All the way around. Again, if I'm going too fast, let me just go in the video or pause it when you need to. I'm sorry, I didn't say that earlier. And now it should look like this, kind of like a bugbear or something. You know, a bugbear. It's not a bugbear. Um, what was I going to say? A water bear. I always get those two confused. Okay. So now I'm going to put it down like this and freeze it. You should have around six flaps underneath with two with a whole a front and a back to it. Doesn't have to work perfect because it won't be soon. <laughs> okay. So now what you're gonna do is gonna is you're gonna fold this up, fold this back down, and turn over. Now, however you like to model the legs, which are all the other the other six flaps, three on each side, that's all up to you. This is to taste. I like doing it kind of like this. You should have three on each side if you did it correctly. Let's figure this out. You'll have supposedly six legs. Good luck, like spider, but it's not really a spider. These spiders usually have eight legs. I'm not completely sure about that. Usually, I never said always. Now you're going to round out the bottom, which is kind of like th that part. And then what you're going to do, that's the head, is all you have to do is shape the legs. See? Not that bad. So you're going to kind of pinch and kind of change the direction slightly at the end, making this kind of little thing leg. It's pretty cool. Feel free to watch till the end if you want to see the new, and watch till the end for a little cool announcement, by the way. Sorry, I said that, that, said that in the beginning, but it's no big deal. Those who are watching this far, well, you get to hear about it, which is pretty, I think, you, and it's who, who, those who are, um, pretty, um, cool at, no, no, you know what I mean, sorry, um, oh, anyways, okay. And we're gonna do that one last time. And now all you have to do is tuck this under as well and round out that side too. 
And that is it. Your simple crab is done. Simple as that. And also jumps. That's the little secret announcement. So, um, I know it wasn't much, but still. Anyways, so, thank you so much for watching this video and understanding how much I care about this, this channel and however likes this, and anyone who cares about origami, but everyone else too, obviously, but, um, and watches this, this channel especially, but the thing is, that I just had a lot come up at once, so thank you so much for understanding. Again, check out the link in the description to check out my post. See you soon. Bye.